got my finger in the picture. All right, there we go. Doing the best I can with what we have, uh, using my cell phone as a camera. So uh, please hope that you forgive the audio quality and the video quality. But since we don't own a camera, uh, I'm going to use the cell phone and try to maybe make a video. Right now I'm in the heart of the Uari National Forest. Uh, we're going to walk down in a second and we're going to see uh, on one side it's Lake Tillery. On the other side it is uh, Baden Lake and there's a dam that separates it. It's just a really beautiful area of the forest. But I decided just to come here and uh, to one of my favorite places and just walk around, check out some stuff, see what we can find, maybe make a quick little video since we haven't made anything in a long time. And uh, I'm spinning because I don't have two cameras. So this breaks it up a little bit so that you're not constantly just staring at one dude, one shot. It's kind of not stationary. <laughs> so let's go and let's walk around and check this thing out. Alright, check it out. There's an anole. Let's see if we can catch him. I'm gonna stop this and then resume when I catch him. Alright, check it out. I caught him. <laughs> so there were several of these guys uh, right on the same same tree, but this is the Anolis carolinus. This is the uh, Carolina anole lizard. Some people call him an anole. Uh, when I was a kid, we called them chameleons because actually this guy has a cool ability to change his skin color from green to brown to black. He's not really related to a chameleon, but it's a cool adaptation that he has to help him kind of blend in with his environment. You see, to the background, he blends in really good because he's green. And when he's on these logs, he started out kind of gray-brown, which is similar to those. So it's just really cool adaptation that he has. And there's the great lizard. They're an insectivore, so he will eat um, crickets. He'll eat bugs and things like that. He's just a wonderful lizard. And right now, he's just kind of closing his eyes, chilling out hoping that I'll go away. <laughs> this is a bad dream for him. <laughs> so we're going to let him go in a second, but I just wanted to show him to you. Isn't it beautiful behind me? Just all the, the water, the lake. I don't know what to say. Alright, so directly behind me, there is a dam. And uh, it blocks off the flow of water, it blocks off kind of the things to make this right here a stream and that back there a lake. But there is a sign, and I know you can't see it because it's so small and the cell phone can't zoom or really focus very well. But there's a sign on it that says, no trespassing, danger, danger. How many times in our lives do we see the writing on the wall? We see everything that we need to see, but still we keep pressing forward in our sinfulness and in the things that we do. Romans 1 says that, that God will give us over to our depraved minds, will give us over to our sinfulness if we continue to walk down that path. And then pretty soon, the writing on the wall that says danger, your sin leads to death, danger, you know, all of these things lead to uh, bad things for you. Uh, you neglect to really notice those, those things on the wall. You neglect to really see the danger on the wall. And then pretty soon, you might walk to the edge of a cliff and fall off, or you might, you know, walk under there and get caught in a rip current, or, or whatever it is uh, that the danger leads you to. But sin, as it is, leads to death. this camera propped up right now I've got it uh, sitting on two twigs that I've jammed down in between a crack in a broken off tree and it's angling down so it can see me so uh, this is how we have to do it now um, <laughs> but I'm excited that we at least have something to, to show for to show for it um, I felt like God has definitely reaffirmed me in this video ministry um, you know, and he was like, look, you know, until you get what you think you need, you've still got something. So I can put out videos with this guy. And, uh, you know, I'm sorry if the quality is not good enough, the audio is not good enough. But I'm going to do the best I can 
with what I have until um, you know God puts it on someone's heart to kind of help us out with this. But uh, you know, there's a lot of big things coming. We I feel like the Lord's given me an idea for a documentary that has nothing to do with nature, animals, or anything. It's something about uh, you know the loose framework of it is basically is like why are people in my age group suffering from somewhat of like a Lord of the Flies theology? You know, it's like everybody's kind of forming their own camps and uh, nobody really knows what to believe anymore because nobody's being poured into and so that's sending a lot of people into you know weird theology it's sending a lot of other people completely away from the church and uh, and basically what we're suffering from is just a lack of truth from the pulpits we're suffering from a lack of real doctrinal truth coming from uh, the people that are supposed to be teaching us and pastoring us and so I just want to, you know, kind of tip you off and clue you in on that in the lowest quality video that I could have ever possibly made. But uh, we've come a long way. I mean, we, we've been borrowing cameras for years. And, you know, our second DVD, which you can get at catchingcreation.com, uh, it, it sur far surpasses everything we've done so far. We use DSLRs and uh, Sony FS100s on a lot of the videos. So everything's starting to look better as far as what we have access to. It's just the impromptu videos may end up looking... A little crazy like this one so uh you know thank you for bearing with me and if you just hate the way it looks maybe you're the person that's going to help us uh get a camera <laughs> so uh and you could you know help us out by just contacting me through catchingcreation.com or catchingcreation at yahoo.com which is my personal email and uh you know god's been good lately i've been going to churches and public schools private schools christian schools and doing the catching creation presentations or anti-bullying presentations so i bring the animals and and kind of bring a gospel message or uh or just a really positive message you know in the public schools we can't bring christ there but we can bring a message that's positive and that's what i've been doing uh god's really been blessing us with just kind of one breadcrumb after another so it's uh, day to day, literally, you know, we're surviving, you know, uh, I'm not adding any more to my life by worrying about where this, you know, this, the income is going to come from. God's sufficient and God's our provider. And, and so far, you know, God's been really blessing us. Uh, we've actually been able to give and we've never been able to really give before. And it, that feels so good. Uh, just being able to help other people that we know that are in need. So it's, you know, God's not only been meeting our needs, but he's been exceeding them so that we can help others. And I think that's how the kingdom is supposed to work. And I'm excited you know, to be able to contribute. Uh, but, you know, it's definitely going to take your help and your support. So if, if your church or school or uh, youth group or whatever would like me to come do a presentation, that's how I make my living now. That's how, you know, I live off of love offerings and uh, honorariums and so to speak. So if, if, if that's, you know, laid on your heart and you want me to come speak, uh, I would love to bring the animals or just bring a message from, you know, from the Lord. So uh, that's kind of my heart on this. And what a better place to kind of lay out my heart than in the middle of the woods where God really speaks to me and where God always meets me. Um, you know, I just look around and see, like, all this creation, this is all His, you, me, everything. You know, Job 12, 7 through 10 says, you know, we can ask, uh, I'm, I'm paraphrasing, but basically it says, you know, we can ask the animals, the birds, the earth, and all of them are going to teach us that the right, you know, that God, you know, has all of our lives in His hands and He's made everything. And, uh, I mean, it's clear that you can see that by just sitting out here and looking at the complexity of all these organisms. That it didn't happen by chance. It happened by God's uh, unique design and creation. So I'm just thankful to be a part of it, and I'm thankful that, uh, you know, the Lord chose me to help communicate His message of truth and love. So on that note, I hope you've enjoyed this, and, um, you know, check us out at catchingcreation.com. I'm always writing stuff and posting new videos, so I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day.